Now love day is right around the corner and I know you're looking for creative ways to spice things up with your partner, so check it out. I'm gonna give you a tour in my creative process with three simple tips that's gonna help take your intimate beauty session to the next level, so let's get into it. Now tip number one is use creative lighting. Now, what you're basically gonna do is you're going to arc your back and then you're gonna allow the light to accentuate your curves. Now, this is gonna require you to be polos in a very particular way. So make sure you're working with a photographer who's skilled in both lighting and posing. And I guarantee you are going to love, love the way your images turn out. Now, before we continue, I have to ask you this quick question. Now, Valentine's Day, it's always been about the woman. But let me ask you a quick question. Ladies, how would you feel if your man went and surprised you with his own nude photo shoot? And women, how would you feel if your man surprised you with, you know, news of himself? So I want to hear your thoughts on that. Should Valentine's Day only be about a woman or uh, should men be, you know, open to the idea of doing something sexy for his woman to surprise her? Me personally, I think it would be kind of hot. But, you know, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. With that being said, let's get on to tip number two. So tip number two is use reflections in every form of art, whether it's cinema, photography, paintings, every content creator always uses reflections um, in their art. And reason why is because it just really creates a very unique look. So imagine this, you know, just take a Hollywood mirror, a vanity mirror, and have the body in focus and then you can have the silhouette outlining the the border of the photo so like i said just use reflections get creative with it and you will be impressed so tip number three is definitely use glass shoot through glass and what you can really do is you can put any type of decor on top of the glass to create this illusion effect to where it makes it look like whatever's on top of that surface makes it look like it's floating. So you can use glass, pexy glass, whatever you want, just get super creative with it. And I think you'll really love it. So those are my three tips. Um, if this was helpful, helpful for you guys, definitely leave your thoughts in the comments.